Hey Sloby Nation, welcome back to my video and I know this video was supposed to go up yesterday but I ended up doing a Facebook Live Ask KL advice column kind of thing and it was really really fun. I was waiting for the video to upload and it didn't make any sense so I decided to re-record this intro. So today is supposed to be DIY Wednesday but I'm uploading it on Thursday because I still really want to share this with you guys because I want to share with you guys three recipes three recipes on pumpkin spiced stuff, especially since Halloween is coming up and also the holidays. And you guys know fall is my favorite, favorite season because I was born in the fall. And I'm sure you're really gonna love this first one because I know how many of you guys are obsessed with the pumpkin spice lattes. We're gonna go ahead and get started and yeah, let's get some pumpkin stuff going. For this one, we're making the pumpkin spice latte and obviously you're gonna need a cute arse mug for this. For that pumpkin-y flavor, you're gonna need 100% pure pumpkin puree. Depending on your taste buds, you can decide how much pumpkin puree you would like to have in your latte. For me personally, I like to have two tablespoons of it. Next, moving on to my favorite kitchen appliance ever, this is my Nespresso. If you don't have a Nespresso, that's totally okay. Just make a cup of your favorite coffee. When I bought my Nespresso, it did come with an arrochino, so I am going to froth up some creamer and some almond milk. While I'm waiting for my milk to froth, I'm gonna go ahead and add two shakes of pumpkin spice into my mug. Since the coffee is so warm, you can go ahead and mix the spice and the pumpkin together. This way it will really dissolve everything. Now I'm gonna add in my warm frothy milk. Now if you don't have a milk frother, you can just boil up your milk and that will work just fine. Just to really finish it off, I'm gonna throw in a dollop of whipped cream. And then I throw in a couple of mini marshmallows. And then you garnish it with a few more shakes of the pumpkin spice. All right, you can't tell me that this doesn't look delicious. And also, it looks totally better than the Starbucks version because trust me, it tastes better. Okay, moving on to the pumpkin spice rice crispy treats. Okay, in a saucepan, go ahead and melt three tablespoons of unsalted butter. So once the butter has melted, go ahead and add in a teaspoon of pumpkin spice and then a teaspoon of cinnamon. Thoroughly mix and blend the butter and the spices together. Okay, now mix in two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Anything more than two tablespoons I feel like would make the treats a little bit soggy, so kind of keep it from two tablespoons and under. Once everything is completely mixed together, you can go ahead and throw in four cups of marshmallows. I like to throw in two cups at a time and then I mix it until it's melted before I add more. Okay, so once the marshmallow has completely melted and everything is mixed together and smells pumpkin-y and nice, you can go ahead and throw in six cups of Rice Krispie Treats. I do it in cups of two, so then it's easier for me to mix. Now you can go ahead and lay it out onto a flat sheet of wax paper and let it cool. You could use a cookie cutter at this point to cut out shapes or you can do what I'm doing next. I'm going to make them into actual little pumpkins and so I just use my hands to mold them into round little shapes like this. Then I stick a licorice and an almond to the top so it looks like the stem and leaves of the pumpkin. Then in a small Ziploc bag, I melt in some chocolate. I cut out a small hole at the tip and now I'm just going to draw in the ridges of the pumpkin. And ta-da! It kind of looks like a pumpkin. You know what? Just amuse me. Okay, the very last and the most decadent of them all. Let's work on the pumpkin cheesecake trifle. In a bowl, go ahead and throw in a block of cream cheese. Add in a fourth cup of sugar to that bowl. Then a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. Lastly, for the pumpkin-y flavor, a fourth a cup of pumpkin puree. Now, if you have a mixer for this, go ahead and do that. All I have is a fork because I'm not a baker, so I'm just gonna <laughs> fork it. And you're gonna mix it really, really well. Make sure everything is blended together and use a little bit of arm muscle so that you could beat it and it'll be nice and fluffy. For some extra flavor, I went ahead and added in two tablespoons of caramel topping. Next, taking some graham crackers, I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up. You can put them in a Ziploc bag and beat the crap out of it if you want to instead. Now in a small little dessert bowl, I'm going to go ahead and layer everything. Make sure that the bowl is clear so that you can see the layers. That's how trifling works. Wait a minute, isn't trifling a derogatory term? <laughs> so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the first layer down and that is the graham cracker layer. And then a layer of the cream cheese cheesecake mix that we just finished making. Now another layer of crackers. All right, so I'm cheating here. I am using pre-made vanilla pudding. Now, I'm no Betty Crocker, so I don't wanna make my own vanilla pudding. If you want to, you can go ahead and do that, but vanilla from a cup works just fine. Okay, now you're gonna lay down your last layer of graham crackers. 
with some whipped cream. I'm just using Cool Whip. I stick it in a Ziploc bag and I pipe out the whipped cream on top of the graham crackers. I dust on a little bit of graham crackers and then I shake a little bit of the pumpkin spice on top of it. Okay, is that not the most delicious looking thing you've ever seen? And also it tastes really good as well. It's not too overly sweet. So yeah, give this a try. Ah, and that's it! What do you guys think of the treats? Aren't they super cute? I kind of went out of my way with this one. I ended up eating almost all of my pumpkin spice cheesecakes. I was supposed to save some of them for my parents and for my friends, but then now I have to make a new batch, so fail on that. Um, yeah, this is really easy. You don't need a baker's thumb or anything. Is that a thing, a baker's thumb, or is it a baker's dozen? Yeah, if you guys are gonna try out this video, be sure to send me a photo to any one of my socials with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N so I can check it out. And also, if you like this video, be sure to like it down below, share it with everyone that you know, and of course, subscribe to my channel because every subscriber equates to fairy dust and I eat the fairy dust and that's how I gain motivation and energy to continue to make videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you know how to end all of my videos. Remember to always rock on, Slobies. Bye! There are other ingredients in here such as glycolic acid and we already know how great glycolic acid is. There's also jojoba oil in here that will help keep your skin soft and supple. So I love wearing any type of mud masks on my face during bath times because the bath will keep my skin nice and